Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo brought to you by GameAnyone.com. The 15th and final artifact is in our possession. We're going to go to Alexandria, Egypt, 47 BC. Upon their father's passing, Cleopatra and her brother were named to rule the kingdom of Egypt. However, Cleopatra's selfish brother, Ptolemy 13 of 12th, didn't wish to share the throne, so he banished his sister from the capital city of Alexandria. Oh, rough family. He was up to the Roman ruler, Julius Caesar, who served as Egypt's guardian, I believe, to restore Cleopatra to her throne. Thus, a second coronation was held for the queen in the year 47 BC. Meanwhile, Caesar fell deeply in love with Cleopatra, and she eventually bore him a son named... Caesarian. However, on March 15, 44 BC, Julius Caesar was done away with by members of the Roman Senate. One of Rome's new leaders... Uh, what was his name? Ah, oh, Mark Antony. No, not the same Mark Antony that was with Jennifer Lopez. Had once been an officer in Caesar's army, Cleopatra, who had a penchant for powerful rulers, much like gold diggers, soon married Antony and bore him three sons. A Roman civil war soon followed in which Antony's forces were defeated in a great sea battle. Soon after, both Antony and Cleopatra took their own lives. Wow, that was actually a pretty short chapter, I must admit. Alright. Oh yeah, didn't Cleopatra get a pizza from Mike Jones in Star Tropics 2? Or was that a different Cleopatra? Nah, I'm pretty sure they're all the same. There we go. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Yeah, 2601 BC. Yeah, we're going that far. Alright. No, not 1 BC. 47. There we go. Ah, we're almost done with the game. Not a moment too soon. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. It's 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, yes, nine, ten. Eh, didn't really matter if I grabbed an extra one. Where's Cleopatra? Well, I found her already, but I don't want to talk to you yet. Hi there! You look familiar! Do you know me? I'm Julius Caesar, head of one of the greatest civilizations ever. Psst! Does my bald spot show? I fear it is becoming more noticeable. What's a busy Roman ruler doing here? I came in pursuit of an enemy, but as I conquered Pompeii, so has Cleopatra conquered my heart. But please, take this cat away. I'm terribly allergic. Will you both rule from Alexandria? No, I must do as the Romans do and return to my country's capital. By the gods, this cursed bald spot. I really can't meet Cleopatra this way. Why did you help clean Cleopatra? Enough, ple plebeian. I simply must know if this bald spot shows. As the leader of the most powerful nation on earth, I must make myself irresistible to the much younger Queen of the Nile. I'm guessing he wants a mirror? Is the Queen in residence these days? Yes, ever since Caesar arrived and took her side in that nasty fight to their little brother. You must be Roman. You certainly don't look walk like an Egyptian. Why does she need a second coronation? Are you from another world? Well, the, yes, I am. Well, not a time period, actually. With the help of Caesar, Cleopatra has regained the throne stolen by her brother, Ptolemy XII. By the crown of Osiris, did you see that mouse? How did she gain Caesar's help? She convinced Caesar that her brother didn't obey her their father's wishes. Well, it's true. Caesar ruled that she should reign again. Normice, I know how to battle armies of men, not rodents. How did she gain Caesar's help? She convinced Caesar that her brother... Oh, wait, I heard that. Oh, here's a cat. A slayer of vermin. I shall worship this animal forever if it rids this palace of those beady-eyed pests. Thanks, plumber. I am in your debt. What is your wish? Well, speaking of cats, eh? cats did have a lot of pride in Egyptian lore. Egyptian history, really. Tell me, who else is important around here? I have heard the Romans speak highly of one named Mark Antony, an officer of Caesar's. 
Even Queen Cleopatra took notice when he was mentioned, but she is always attracted to power. Is Cleopatra a good ruler? She is more beloved than Ptolemy the Twelfth by far. My be beloved is the queen's maid, and I've carved this wooden ass for her. Oh, <laughs> ass. Not really an ass is a snake. Please give it to her as a son of my love. Gee, uh, how romantic. Tell me more. About the queen? She was born in 69 BC and crowned in 52 BC. Uh, so really, she turned the queen in at the age of 17. Wow, it's nice for a teenager. They say she's the most alluring woman in the world, but I prefer her maid. Yes, well, anything else but Cleo? She recently bore Caesar a son, naming him Caesarian. Could be trouble. Calpurnia, Caesar's wife in Rome, uh-oh, has always been above suspicion, but I bet she suspects now. You think? Excuse me, ma'am, is this staff yours? Holy Isis, Mario! Be careful with that! It's solid gold and very old. The, T the Ptolemy line of kings have ruled with that staff for generations. Cleopatra off inherited the throne then? Her father, Ptolemy XI, named her to rule Egypt and Alexandria equally with her brother. Ptolemy XII was selfish and wanted to rule Egypt by himself. Is Caesar planning on taking Cleopatra away? Oh, the queen would jump at the chance. I have heard that she will soon go with Caesar to Rome. I hear the Romans may not like her. Well, duh! He's married to someone else! She can be difficult. Her boss needs a lot of care, huh? Very high maintenance. She's known as a charmer, you know. You bathe her, massage her with scented oils, apply makeup and hairdos, tie her sandals. Ooh, that's hot. I have a hand mirror. She has hundreds. What do Julius and see and Cleo have in common? Well, they're both smart and powerful. Both love strategy and politics. Plus, they're each very vain and ambitious. A true match of the gods. Are they really in love? It's hard to say. Cleopatra is usually all business, but around Julius, she recites poetry and blushes. It could be true love, or it could be the love of power. How can I persuade Caesar to talk to me? Grapes! Grapes would eat, please, the council. Excuse me, but I've been trying to catch the eye of that handsome guard over there. I don't think he knows I exist. Oh yeah, he knows you exist, alright. A serpent? Oh, but it's made of wood! A gift from him! Oh, he has noticed me! Ever since Caesar arrived here last year in 48 BC, it seems we've all been bitten by the love scarab. Anything else about Cleopatra? Only that she's considered the most alluring woman in the world. Take it from me. She works at it. You better return that staff to her or she won't be crowned. Uh, yeah, i better do that. Here's a hand mirror. Ah, your gift reflects both my power and good looks. My bald spot doesn't show at all. You have my gratitude, plumber. What else did you wish to know about me? How did you get to decide who would rule Egypt? Cleopatra's father, Ptolemy XI, left a will leaving Rome as guardian of Egypt. As a consul of Rome, it naturally became my job to act as guardian. Can you tell me more about this staff? What staff? I thought we were talking about me. My throat has suddenly become awfully dry. Now here's some grapes, asshole. Mmm, grapes. The fruit of Bacchus. About that staff, it's solid gold. They say whoever possesses it is the true ruler of Egypt. Of course, my own power is recognized without such adornment. Will the Romans accept Cleopatra? Uh, no. It's a delicate political question. The citizens of Rome distrust her. However, with that staff in her hands, Cleopatra becomes a very powerful ally. Now, speaking of which, I better give it to her right now. Hey, baby. Looking f ready for the big day? Greetings, plumber. Yes, I'm finally going to get my crown back. Please make yourself scarce. I must be bathed and be jeweled now. Ugh, I think I want this job, but I don't think Peach be happy about this. And then Cleopatra will be pissing off two women! Queen, were you looking for this? You mean my ancestor staff of royal power? A three pound solid gold symbol of absolute rule over one third of the world? Why, yes I was! Well, Cleo, looks like everything is A-OK! -okay. Yes, Mario, Mario. It's been another dramatic moment in my life. Perhaps one day, it'll be a play with Julius Caesar. Mark Antony and I will be living happily ever after. Ooh, lots of drama going on. I think I better leave. Yeah. Besides, I have my own issues to deal with. With Bowser, of course. He's on the final floor. Time to finish the game. Oh yeah, it's on now. Oh, don't go getting away from me now. 
going to paradise, eh? Uh, what the? Oh no, well, don't tell me. Bowser got away, didn't he? He's going to paradise, hopefully not paradise, Newfoundland. Bowser has escaped. You need to finish quicker. What the fuck? You mean this game had a time limit and it didn't even tell me? Yeah, it's true. You have to finish this game fast to get the best ending. I'm dead serious. So technically this game punishes you for reading. If you didn't return those other side items to the people or you decided to keep tapping A to get carpal tunnel syndrome, that was the way you were going to beat the game. Hang on a second, can you, can you give me some time? Ugh, I gotta find the password. Okay, I'm back. This is the password you need to get the best ending. QWJK04RVVM80WZ Thank you, GameFAX. Okay, now we're gonna get sent back here. And watch what happens if you get there in the allotted time, which I don't know, because it doesn't tell you. Like, the game doesn't even tell you how fast you had to finish the game. And to think, like, you go to slow pace, you learn, but you get the bad ending. That discourages you from reading. Seriously, now. Here, now, Bowser's gonna be sent to the prehistoric age. There. Now you're gonna get what's coming to you. Okay. He's just gonna stand there. And then... Pwn! He just got the Monty Python treatment. Congratulations! You did it! And I forgot to mention that if you finish fast, but retrieve the artifacts in different orders, like say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, you would get Bowser sent to the prehistoric age, and you get a little message saying like, you did it, but in the wrong order, and Bowser will not be crushed. And another thing I forgot to mention, that when I first saw this game in a Game Pro magazine, or in the back of the box itself, it actually showed me like a little level with this background, it actually had a little doorway and some platforms to make you think it was a platformer game. It wasn't in the game at all. It was just bait and switch. Making you think you're gonna get a platformer with some challenge, only to realize you were gonna get trash. Yeah, that's it. That's Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. I'm really glad this is over so I can focus on my next side project, which will probably be Mortal Kombat 4 for the Nintendo 64. Finally, we got from edutainment to actual fatalities in action. So anyways, this is the Bonga signing out saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Wait, 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 wait. Mom and Dad! <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, see ya.